Where do Georgians really come from? For centuries, this has been one of the deepest mysteries of the Caucasus. Some say Georgians are the direct descendants of the ancient Colchians and Iberians. Others believe their roots reach even further back, into the very first civilizations that rose in the shadow of the Caucasus Mountains. Now, for the first time DNA is uncovering the truth, and what scientists have found is nothing short of shocking. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to explore the hidden story written in Georgian DNA. But before we begin, let me ask you, do you believe Georgians are the direct descendants of the ancient Iberians? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Georgia's location is like a natural bridge between continents. To the north lie the rugged Caucasus highlands, to the south the fertile lands leading into the Near East, and to the west the Black Sea opens pathways toward Europe. It is no surprise that Georgian DNA carries traces of countless migrations and connections. When scientists map Georgian DNA, they see overlaps with neighboring populations, Armenians, Azerbaijanis, Chechens, and Ossetians. These connections reflect thousands of years of intermarriage, trade, and sometimes conquest. But what surprises researchers most is that Georgians also carry traces of populations from far beyond the Caucasus. Some markers point to ancient Anatolian farmers, others to groups from the Eurasian steppe. These are people who moved thousands of kilometers, leaving tiny fingerprints in the genetic code of Georgian ancestors. This is where history and genetics intersect. Consider the Colchis region on Georgia's western coast, known in Greek mythology as the home of the Golden Fleece. While myths tell one story, DNA tells another. It confirms that Georgia has long been a crossroads of peoples where different civilizations mingled. And this is not limited to ancient times. Even during the medieval era, waves of migration and invasions, Persians, Romans, Byzantines, and later Mongols, introduced new genes. Yet, despite these influences, Georgians maintained a unique genetic identity, shaped both by isolation in the mountains and by centuries of interaction with outsiders. This is where things get truly fascinating. Scientists digging into Georgian DNA have uncovered results that challenge long-held assumptions about ancestry. One of the most intriguing discoveries involves haplogroups, which are like genetic signatures passed down from generation to generation. Certain haplogroups found in Georgians are extremely rare outside the Caucasus, suggesting the persistence of ancient lineages that have survived for thousands of years. Even more astonishing are the genetic markers that hint at connections to civilizations far beyond the mountains. Some markers resemble those found in Mediterranean populations, linking Georgians to ancient peoples who once traveled across Europe. Others hint at mysterious, almost unknown groups whose origins remain a puzzle. And the surprises don't stop there. Beyond haplogroups, Georgian DNA shows signs of resilience and adaptation. Scientists have noted genetic traits that may explain unique aspects of longevity, metabolism, and even resistance to certain diseases. While these findings are still under study, they suggest that the environment of Georgia, rugged mountains, shifting climates, and diverse diets, left a lasting imprint not just on culture, but on biology itself. Perhaps the most fascinating part is that these discoveries often defy history books. For example, some genetic connections suggest that populations we thought were distant or isolated actually interacted much earlier than previously believed. DNA becomes a tool to rewrite history, revealing hidden movements of people and uncovering layers of ancestry that artifacts and texts alone could never fully explain. During the Persian and Roman eras, Georgia was a hub of trade and cultural exchange. Merchants and soldiers passed through, some staying and adding their DNA to the local pool. Byzantine influence brought new lineages from the Mediterranean, while the Mongol invasions introduced steppe ancestry. Even centuries later, the genetic signatures of these interactions can still be detected, quietly influencing traits in the modern population. DNA also confirms the persistence of native Georgian lineages. Despite invasions and migrations, a core genetic identity remained remarkably stable. This shows that while Georgia was a crossroads, it was also a stronghold, 
a place where local populations survived, adapted, and continued traditions for thousands of years. Each Georgian carries this history within them. From the hunter-gatherers of the Paleolithic to medieval kings, from distant traders to local farmers, every chapter of Georgia's past has left a mark in DNA. Georgia may be small in size, but it is extraordinary in diversity. The DNA of a single Georgian can carry ancestry from multiple regions, local Caucasus lineages, traces from Anatolia, hints of Mediterranean or steppe connections. This hidden complexity is mirrored in culture. Languages, traditions, and even culinary practices show the blending of influences. Georgia, this small but powerful crossroads between Europe and Asia, has been home to some of the earliest human settlers in Eurasia. The Demanisi site, one of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries in the world, has revealed hominins living here nearly 1.8 million years ago. These were some of the first humans to venture out of Africa, and their bones tell a story that begins long before recorded history. These early Georgians weren't isolated. The fertile valleys of the South Caucasus attracted migration from neighboring regions. DNA extracted from ancient bones shows that the people of this time already carried a unique mix of genes. They weren't like anyone else in Europe or Asia. They were a distinct population, forming what scientists now call some of the oldest continuous genetic lineages in Eurasia. Every Georgian alive today carries echoes of these ancient ancestors, a living thread connecting them to hunters, farmers, and early civilizations that thrived thousands of years ago. What makes Georgian DNA especially compelling is the way it interacts with culture. Unlike some regions where genes and traditions diverge, Georgia's mountains, valleys, and history created an environment where biology and culture evolved together. Take, for example, winemaking. Georgia is often called the birthplace of wine, with evidence of grape cultivation dating back 8,000 years. It turns out that genetic traits may have influenced how Georgians metabolized alcohol, allowing them to incorporate wine safely and even use it as a staple of social and ritual life. Similarly, culinary practices that emphasize fermented foods, grains, and high-protein diets reflect generational adaptation to local resources. DNA and culture are two sides of the same story, one physical, one social, but deeply intertwined. One of the most exciting areas of discovery is the intersection of archaeology and genetics. Artifacts, burial sites, and ancient settlements give clues about history, but DNA adds a new dimension, a microscopic record of people themselves. Take burial sites in the valleys of Kakheti or near the ancient city of Metzgeta. Archaeologists uncover graves with pottery, tools, and jewelry. For centuries, these objects told a story about trade, craft, and social hierarchy. Now, genetic analysis of skeletal remains confirms who these people were, where they came from, and how they were related to neighboring populations. For example, DNA from Bronze Age graves shows links to Anatolian farmers, confirming patterns suggested by trade artifacts. At the same time, unique haplogroups preserved in these bones demonstrate that some lineages remained isolated, untouched by outside migration. In the mountains of Svanity, ancient tombs reveal warriors buried with weapons, decorated shields, and engraved metal. DNA analysis of these remains shows a genetic continuity stretching back thousands of years, the same lineages found in modern Georgians. Even small discoveries matter. For instance, a fragment of pottery may suggest trade with distant regions, but DNA shows whether people themselves moved or only their goods. Similarly, ancient burial patterns hint at social hierarchy. Georgia's DNA and archaeological record together paint a picture of a crossroads of civilizations. Ancient trade routes brought people from Anatolia, Mesopotamia, and the Eurasian steppe. Artifacts, bronze tools, jewelry, coins, show that goods moved widely. Genetic markers indicate waves of migration over millennia. Steppe ancestry arrives during the Bronze Age. Mediterranean traces suggest contact with early seafaring civilizations, and Near Eastern markers reflect trade and occasional settlement. 
What is striking is how Georgian populations absorbed these influences while retaining a core genetic identity. The mountains provided both connection and isolation, allowing ancient lineages to persist even as outsiders arrived. The modern diaspora adds another layer. Georgians who migrated over the past century carry their DNA to new countries, Europe, the United States, Russia, and beyond. These modern movements reflect ancient patterns. While Georgia is geographically small, its DNA tells a story of global relevance. Genetic studies reveal how populations moved across continents, interacted with neighbors, and left traces in regions far beyond the Caucasus. Some ancient Georgian lineages can be traced in populations as far away as Europe and the Middle East. Moreover, Georgian DNA provides insight into how humans adapt to environment and climate. Studying these ancient markers helps scientists understand resilience, disease resistance, and longevity, lessons that are increasingly relevant today. The story of Georgia is not just historical, it's a key to understanding the human journey as a whole. Finally, modern Georgian DNA serves as a living archive of the past. Every person carries the echoes of hunters, farmers, warriors, and traders who lived thousands of years ago. The mountains, rivers, and valleys of Georgia are encoded not just in culture and tradition, but in the very molecules of the people who inhabit them. Each genome is a time capsule, preserving survival strategies, migrations, and adaptations that textbooks alone cannot convey. The story of Georgia is written not just in its mountains and rivers, but in the DNA of the people themselves. From the first hunter-gatherers and early farmers to medieval kingdoms, foreign invaders, and modern migrations, every chapter has left its mark on the Georgian genetic code. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of Georgia, let us know in the comments. Have you ever explored your ancestry or wondered about the origins hidden in your own DNA? Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more fascinating history and genetics content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching.